Kevin, Gamertag Magical, bringing you a game of Demolition on Stadium. Uh, my perks in this, uh, in this class are Flak Jacket, Sleight of Hand, Hacker, and I'm using a Commando with Dual Mags, which is one of my favorite setups. Or the Commando with Dual Mags, not necessarily the perk setup. Uh, there's a good chance I'm going to bring you quite a few more Demolition games, because I need to pro Flak Jacket at Ninja, but it really depends on how well I do. There I didn't realize that guy was so far behind the door, so I let him kill a teammate before I finished him off. Defense on demo is always kind of fun. I think this was probably one of the first times I played demo on this map, so I wasn't completely sure what to do. There, I'm playing with a team of four, so I know there's some green dot, green triangles over here on my team. I'm guessing they were probably the actual green ones and not the blue for my the people who were in my party, or else I would have trusted them to get things done. Uh, the four people I'm running with on this game were the same that I had with the demo game with the MPL for Team Tactical 4 on 4. They're all some pretty good players. Here I'm going to, I thought I was going to run around and flank these guys, but my uh, teammate got them instead. And now I'm going to push forward into this building, which is always one of the best places to be on Stadium, as it gives you a nice view of a lot of what's important in the map. No, and just... Being aware of where the doors are in this mat on this building is important, more so in other uh, game types where they can spawn all around you. Yeah, so like in Domination, this is where you want to be if you can, because you got a great view of B, all of, you know, from A running around, you can check them out. And here on Demo, I can, can pretty much trap them in their spawn. Like if there are two of us up here, one watching that way and one straight this one where I'm looking now, they probably would not be able to get very far unless they took the really far left or round way to round to B, which limits their choices, and then you can really stack up your defense that way too for the rest of your team. There, that guy threw a nice smoke, except for there's this other windowsill I can shoot him from, thankfully. So I got my chopper gunner. I'm going to save that for the next round as there's only a couple of seconds left, but they do get a plan over here on B. So I'm going to run over there and play defense over there until we get it diffused. And then because that draws all our attention, I'll have to run back to A. Here I get this guy, but he's got a teammate behind me that I run to. And because I can't aim right there, he gets the drop on me. Uh, on demo, I really find it important to keep these bombs diffused because you don't want the extra four minutes. Because then once they get the one, four minutes to focus on even one, even when you put up a good defense, it's tough because all six of them are coming at you and they can focus all their kill streaks and stuff on it, which you can too. But, you know, once you're down to defending just the one, it just gets really tough. And my teammate lays down a nice triple with a napalm, I'd guess. Here I turn on this guy because he is just the worst. But then my teammate gets the diffuse instead of me and I accidentally pick up a glial, but. I don't mind a Glial, so it all works out in my favor. I'm going to pick up another uh, UAV here. You know, I'm using a kill streak setup that I like a lot. I talk about it all the time. You know, UAV, Napalm, Chopper Gunner. I really like the Napalm in objective games because you know, like I did earlier, you can block off. I pretty much blocked off from their spawn to A, so they had to go to B. And, you know, in Domination, you can put it. In some of the maps, you can put it over two of the spots. So if they've got. You know, in jungle, uh, you can put it right from C to B, which is great if they're spawning on C and you can hit Sniper Rock too and really screw them over. You know, another reason, not only because I get a bunch of kills in this game, well, it's only 18, but since we end them in these rounds pretty quickly, it's pretty fast, but I'm plant both of these bombs, get both plants, and they're both going to be successful too, which is really just icing on the cake in a demolition game. Even with just one plant, I'd be happy. But here I'm going to get killed trying to watch over this because there's a guy who's up in the little cor back corner of the balcony who shoots me. Oh no, he shot me all the way from across the map. I see where he was now. It's impressive shooting for that guy. So I'm just going to call my chopper gunner and hope my teammate who's sitting there right on the corner of A can keep it from being defused, which he does. Now if I didn't have that contract, I probably, or if I was thinking, I would have changed out the chopper gunner because it is not good on stadium at all. There's just way too many f buildings for them to uh, hide in. You know, some t if the choppers aim the right way and they're spawning down in, in the right spots, you can really wreck them. But any other time, you are just not going to be able to hit them because there are too many buildings for them to hide behind. So when it goes down pretty quickly anyways. Uh, here, I blew up A, so I'm going to go move in and try and plant B. I know there's a bunch of guys over in the near the ice rink, and I throw this flashbang, but they've all moved out. 
before then. And I thought I'd flashbang this claymore, so thanks to Flag Jacket, I don't die from that. I'm going to move in slowly behind my teammates, usually, kind of using them as another form of UAV, just to watch where they get killed from. There, I throw a grenade at a guy my teammate killed, but it happens. Here, I'm going to lay down this plant, and I'm just barely going to get it off before somebody shoots me from behind. Uh, I, yeah, oh, I don't know how exactly that guy got there, because there's a green triangle pretty much facing right at him. He must have just slipped by. But, you know, once you got the bombs set up, it's a lot easier to defend them. And when you're all focusing on one, you can easily keep six people off of it if your team is anything competent. There I get shot for again because some guy just keeps running around behind us and flanking us, which is an awesome move. I don't have the patience to do it, but anybody who does can really rack up some nice kills. I know he's probably going to go to defuse, so I was call making that call out to my team. There that guy almost gets a defuse because I thought he was a dead body, but luckily before you can do anything about it, I realize what's going on. And here I almost kill myself again, but thanks to uh, Flak Jacket I survive. So I go 18-4 and four in this game with both plants. No defuses, but my teammates took care of that and I helped them get them.